Are you wondering how to create multiple line entries with one form submission? Well, if that's the case and you've come to the right place, because in this video, I am gonna be sharing with you the very best next alternative. Now I must be transparent up front. It isn't exactly one form submission, but it shouldn't take you more than a couple of seconds. And it is the best workaround that I've discovered in my seven years of using Smartsheet. So let's start. So for the purpose of this demo, I've got a project intake sheet here. So the idea is we're gonna receive form entries to our team and we are gonna decide whether to undertake the project or not. So let me just show you the form quickly. Manage forms and let me just open this up in a fresh URL. So as you can see here, this is the form. Pretty much every single field is required by default. So this is how we go around getting multiple form entries. So I've pre-populated this form with an example project. And for the purpose of this demo, the idea is I want to create a request that is pretty much identical, but for the second project request, there's a slight deviation in so far that it won't be a training project, it will be a consulting project, but it'll be at the same client. So let's just say most of the information will remain the same. So this is what you need to do. Fill out your form as you normally would, hit submit, success, we've captured your response. Now here is the most important bit, and this is something that you may need to do or you may need to train others to do, hit back in your browser and it will reload the form and exactly the same submission. At this point, you can go in and make those manual changes. So as an example, this is going to be, project type is gonna be consulting, as, let's use consulting, Consol, consultancy, consultancy services to client. Everything is the same. We've got all of this information. Now I'm gonna hit submit. And again, if we wanted to do another form submission, we could, we could hit back and then we could just go in and do that. If I go into the underlying sheet now and hit refresh, here, when it loads, you will see two lovely form entries and they've got a unique product ID as well. So as you can see, they've been created as separate entries, which is really, really useful. There's the differentiation there, training and consulting. Um, again, if most of the fields are the same and you just need to change a few, you can do that. Just make sure that you read over your submission before you submit it. Now, the other way you can go about doing this, which isn't necessarily as ideal, is you can just open up the sheet itself. You can do a control C, or I should say right click, copy, go in here and press control V. You may need to move things around like that, as you've just seen there, we've kind of dropped off. It's not as ideal. In fact, the project ID will be incorrect here. So you can, you can do that as well, nowhere near as good, and probably why you've landed on this video is searching for a solution. Um, in fact, I had a bit of an issue there with that copy and paste, but you get the idea. It would be literally selecting that, that first entry, right-clicking, copy, and then paste. You can use the shortcuts as well if you wanted to. But they're really the main ways of going about it. There's not actually a, a go-to solution for this. This, as I say, is a workaround, but it has worked particularly well for me and my organization. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback about this process or another process in Smartsheet, drop them down below. And with that said, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.